A fish population experiences exponential growth with an initial population of 5,000 fish. 20 years pass, the population is now 32,000. How long did it take for the fish population to double? So, exponential growth, we write down our equation, A of T equals A zero E to the constant C times T. So what do I have? First off, T equals zero, we have 5,000 fish. If I put zero into my equation, I get A zero E to the zero, E to the zero is equal to one. So A zero is 5,000. Next, I'm told at T equal to 20, our population is equal to 32,000. So that means 32,000 is equal to 5,000 E to the C times 20. We move the 5,000 to the other side. Now we have an exponential in our equation. So I applied natural log to both sides. Natural log of E to the anything reduces to your anything. So I'm going to have 20 times C equals natural log 32 over 5. All right, we solve for C, we get 0 0.0928. So I have my A0 and my C for my exponential equation. Now, we divide both sides by 5,000. That leaves me with an equation which has an exponential in it. We apply natural log to both sides. That removes the exponential. Natural log of E to anything leaves you with anything. So if we solve for C, we're going to get natural log of 32 over 5, quantity divided by 20. That reduces to 0.0928. And now I have my A0 and my C. So I have all the unknowns in our equation. So now I can find our doubling time. All right, so what do we do? Well, what do we know? We want to know when we double the initial amount. So we start off with 5,000. When one doubling time passes, we'll have 10,000 fish right here. Okay, so we want to solve for that T. That T is going to be our doubling time. Again, I get rid of the exponential by taking the natural log of both sides. When we sort that out, we're going to be left with doubling time is equal to seven and a half years. Now, let's check that by just taking a few doubling times and see if we can get in the ballpark of that 32,000. So t equals zero, I have 5,000. One doubling time passes, seven and a half years, we double our population to 10,000. Another doubling time passes, that gets us to 15 years, we double our 10,000 to 20,000. Then I let one more pass, which gets me to 22 and a half years, that's gonna double to 40,000. So we know we're in the ballpark, our 20 years is between 15 and 22 and a half, and our 32,000 is between 20,000 and 40,000. Here's another way to look at the problem. Okay, in this case, we're using a slightly different formula for our exponential growth. In this case, we're going straight to the heart of the doubling period. Okay, so my equation's gonna be A of T equals A zero, two raised to the T over the doubling period. So what's happening here is my exponent is counting the number of doubling periods that have passed. So think of it this way. One doubling period passes, the exponent's a one, we double our initial amount. Two doubling periods passed, the exponent's a two, and then we'll have two times two, our initial amount, and so on. So it's gonna be the same exact formula we had before, except it just looks a little bit nicer. Now, the drawback's gonna be, if you go to first principles, try to solve to get the equation using the original differential equation. It's a little bit tricky to see how the exponential comes in. So the link to our other equation is just gonna be that if I take something in base two, I go to base e by taking e to the natural log of two and then putting in whatever's left over in the exponent. So I haven't changed my formula here, I've just changed the way that it looks. The advantage of the new formula is I can go straight to calculating doubling period. So our first step here, we rewrite our equation, 32,000 equals 5,000, two to the 20 over the doubling period. So we know at time 20, we have 32,000 
fish in our population. Same procedure, divide by 5,000, take the natural log of both sides. Now note, I have base two, but taking the natural log is gonna be just fine. What happens? Well, if I have natural log of anything to an exponent, I'm allowed to bring the exponent out to the front. So the way that this gets handled is, the 20 over or doubling period goes to the front, and I just have to worry about this natural log of two. Okay, at this point, doubling period is outside of the natural log, and now it's just solving using algebra. So we're gonna wind up getting our seven and a half all over again.